Hello guys. Um, Fender Flares. One of the probably most love or hate mod you can do to your car. Um, I personally don't know uh, whether or not I like Fender Flares, uh, but I would like to try and see how it fits my car. Um, I'm driving a 2011 V6 uh, Mustang and in my opinion the rear of the car is missing some width because uh, basically the front of the car is wider than the rear. Now I don't like the idea of drilling into the car at all. Uh, it's gonna rust, I might not like it, want to take it off, then I'll be left with holes. So I was looking on the web to see if I can find um, flares, fender flares, that uh, you can mount somehow without actually having to drill into the car. I didn't find anything. Um, in the Mustang world, I don't know if they make them for other cars, I didn't look it up. Uh, you have something called um, rear window louvers. Uh, they used to do this in the 60s. The way you mount those, uh, they're a huge piece of plastic uh, or aluminum and the way you mount them is you have little plates that you stick to the uh, to the window with 3M tape and then you put and they have little screws on them uh, let me show you they look like this so it's a little plate and it has a screw on it uh, this one's fucked up. As you can see, there's paint all over it, and I'll get to that later. You're gonna find a couple of them who are bent, like this. I'm assuming if I'm gonna try and bend this the other way, it's gonna break. And then you have this uh, masterwork, which is covered in paint up there so no good um, you do get 20 of them so you can fuck up four because you need eight per side so that's 16 who the fuck paints this I mean sure it's easier to paint the whole thing but come on put a bit of masking tape on it fuck's sakes Uh, anyways, I thought, why not buy flares, drill holes where they're supposed to go, and mount them with those plates, right? Um, should work. They have 3M tape on the back side, and yeah, simple, simple screw. Um, now... These flares are not the ones from eBay. Um, the reason why I didn't buy the ones from eBay, firstly, uh, they're really cheap. And I'm afraid they're just thin plastic. I did read some reviews and they're not really good. Um, plus, they're not long enough. This section here. So, this is the way it's going to go onto the car. Um, the Mustang is a pretty big car, so... Uh, these wings have to be pretty long. Uh, all the ones I found on eBay simply are not long enough. So I found a company in Europe. They make those themselves. Uh, so they're not, you know, China made or anything like that. Um, they're pretty costly. Uh, they sell them uh, as a pack of four, but... I emailed them. Uh, I emailed them and uh, asked if they could just send me two because I don't need four. I just want to do the rare. Um, and they were cool with it. Uh, the price for four is hundred thirty-five dollars. So I paid half of that plus shipping. Uh, they come with pre-marked holes, as mentioned before. So what I did, I drilled uh, the holes, and I simply uh, mounted those onto the flares and turn them other side it looks like this now I still haven't cut the plates to fit this is just them being screwed in um, as you can see they don't fit perfectly 
uh, they're still you know you can't get them to fit perfectly because you have to trim those edges off a bit the edges um, you just get it in place here flush uh, you will need to uh, take a little bit away here make a little bit of an angle uh, once you have it flush just take an exacto knife and mark it and then cut it off I think that's all it really takes. Uh, hope you can see there's a little curvature compared to this one that has no curvature. And I'd say that's enough. Yeah. That's great. So this fits great now. It's totally flush. And yeah, you just do this for all 16 of them. Uh, after I was done grinding uh, the plate, I just took a little bit of sandpaper and made sure to get rid of to get rid of any sharp edges. Um, your side plates should end up looking something like this. All the edges are smoothed out and it goes on like so. It's totally flush with the edge. I had to make a little curve in here to, to follow this curve and that's that. But on the other side, this lip here uh, is giving me a bit of an issue because uh, when I put this thing in, uh, the plate is uh, it's further up here, and the lip just, if, if I can hold still for a second, remove this, you see that the lip is too, too far down, and I can't really grind this off anymore because I'll start grinding off the actual screw so I'll take my angle grinder and try to to cut this lip you know further in there we go so I made this groove inside the plastic and now it's fitting perfectly so it's perfectly flush with the edge. The thing you will need to uh, watch out for when you put the flares on in order to be able to take off the rear bumper, see this is where the rear bumper starts, you do not want uh, your 3M tape plate to go over uh, to go over the uh, section where the bumper meets the rest of the car so it has to be uh, further down or further up in my case uh, if this these two screws are like the center piece uh, I'll have it just below just below the bumper so once I screw off uh, the flare I can take it off. So this turned out pretty good. Um, there's still a gap between the uh, flare and the car but that's due to me not pressing the 3M tape all the way onto the car because I need to take it off uh, plus 
um, I'll be putting a weather stripping rubber type of thing in between here like a seal so the gap won't be visible um, but I do think this is going to work since you'll be just test fitting those uh, with a 3M tape I would suggest you use some masking tape uh, to put around the edges uh, we're gonna place the flares so it'll be just be easier to take them off because uh, the 3M tape as bad as it is it will uh, stick to the flares uh, sorry to the car so yeah it'll be just be easier and you'll be throwing that 3M tape tape away anyway so it doesn't really matter it will just save you a headache depending on your car um, the curvatures will obviously differ um, the shape of your car uh, will make the difference but on my car uh, everything's pretty good up until here uh, I don't know how good you can see this but here's a gap so um, I probably could just bend this and get it to stick like that like it does now um, but I want to try and heat it up bend it easy, easier you want to bend the flares to conform to the shape of your car uh, before you paint them obviously uh, the way I did it I marked while the flare was in the car uh, so put some masking tape on it and I just marked where I need to bend it um, yeah I'm just gonna heat it up with a hair dryer uh, Starting to bend. This might be enough. Uh, I'll have to. I'll have to test fit it now. Um, it doesn't really go easily. Uh, the uh, hair dryer doesn't produce enough heat. Uh, it would be way easier with a uh, heat gun. Um. Yeah, that's it. Works. So yeah, these are a fucking piece of shit. Um, <laughs> after all, um, I went ahead and bought stainless steel nuts, uh, just because they're gonna rust no matter what I do. Uh, the ones that came with with the plates, original ones. Um, look, if you want to save yourself some time and some headache, um, if you can make those yourself, that would be great. Get a piece of um, piece of metal like that, flat. Um, drill a hole through it, um, stick a screw through it, weld it, cut it off on the back side, grind it off, and you're done. Um, I bought these, uh, the, the screws were painted, I had to physically, uh, scrape off all the paint to get the, uh, nuts to actually go on there. Whilst doing that, um, you know, I had to use some force, uh, I broke a couple of, um, of those spots where they are welded together these are not welded together these are glued on so you're gonna break them uh, i broke this one i was trying to unscrew it and as you can see i broke it so i will have my friend put a put a weld or two in the back side to make those um you know not break and grind it off before painting it obviously so when I'm done, uh, I'll be able to put those in the car, put some Loctite on, uh, screw them on, and if, if and when I have to remove them, I won't, you know, hopefully I won't break them 
So what I did is, since I have nothing to hold these down, I just drilled a hole, put the screws in for this side. Uh, since it's not centered, you have to make another one. You know, hold them, and you can grind them off. Took only a couple of seconds. So, I got these back from getting them plastified, or how, however you want to call it. Now, they look basically the same way they did, but what they do is they will take the metal and dip it into hot plastic and then let it, you know, dry. You will get a really thick layer of plastic. This ain't plastic dipping. Um, you can't take this shit off. You really have to mechanically take it off, like really uh, with a grinder or something. It won't come off by itself. You can't you can scrape it. So what I'm doing now is um, I'm cleaning the surfaces with some kind of alcohol. And then I'm going to apply some 3M primer and some 3M, but the original stuff. Just going to put a couple of stripes in the back. And that will be about it, um, you know, after that I can apply to the car.